NASA's new Mars rover has touched down on the red planet, sparking hope for Caucasians everywhere, with the prospect of eventually colonizing Mars someday. With Mars reduced gravity, white people will finally be able to dunk a basketball. Everything seems to be going fine so far, but the silver lining is that if something does go wrong, we can always blame Iran and finally kick off World War III. Go New World Order! Frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if they find a Walmart up there. There was a guy who calculated that at the rate Walmart is expanding, the entire planet Earth would be covered by Walmart by the year 2053. No, wait, that wasn't Walmart, that was corporate fascism. And that was by 2015. The price tag for this project comes to $2.5 billion, which I think is quite wasteful considering that with the $29 trillion that the banksters extracted from the U.S. taxpayers, we could have not only paid for the Mars Curiosity mission, but we could have also sent every single bankster inhabiting planet Earth to Mars. Frankly, the sun would be my first choice, with no AC. Considered a training mission for hell. Congress, which has already approved 30,000 drones by the year 2020 to terrorize the American people and implement one world global fascism, has shown the world that they're way ahead of the game by approving 100,000 drones for Mars by the year 2100. Everyone seems to be hoping, like giddy children, that some kind of evidence for life on Mars, past or present, is discovered, which I find a bit peculiar from a species so heavily invested in war and mass murder. Perhaps we're getting bored with slaughtering people and we need a new fix. Hopefully the Martians are brown, so there'll be no moral dilemma in murdering them to steal their resources. Some people say we're evolving. But as I watch the U.S. Constitution go up in flames and manufactured wars and poverty being used to further the stranglehold over humanity, I could hardly say we're evolving. We're just getting really good at doing what our Lord Master Satan tells us to do. Following along the path we're on now won't be long before Earth is a desolate and defunct planet like Mars. But with the added benefit of lots of skeletons and plastic, and as cool and exciting as I think it would be if humanity eventually learned how to colonize and terraform other planets, I still remain jaded about the idea. At this point, we can't even keep this planet clean and habitable, let alone resuscitate a dead planet back to life. Let's face it, our most advanced technology has always been sacrificed to the gods of war for the purpose of death and destruction. Earth is the true planet of war, not Mars. As sophisticated as we like to think we are, it's blatantly clear that we're not. On the tier of intelligent life in the universe, humanity is a mere notch above chimps. Or maybe below. And though it might be fun to distract ourselves from the horrors that we self-create here on Earth by surrendering our power to a handful of mass-murdering psychopathic elites, the Mars euphoria will fade, as euphoria tends to do. And we're going to have to refocus our attention back to the colossal mess that we're creating here on Earth and wake the fuck up.